the Faculty Center for Teaching and Learning, à la carte. There are a wide variety of student and faculty partnerships to boost student success. At Mercy College, we are innovating with some of the best teaching and learning models out there in the higher educational landscape. I want all of my students to succeed. I want to minimize those who might otherwise be inclined to drop or withdraw. So trust is an essential key to developing fruitful and meaningful relationships. Through trust, a spouse, an employee, or a friend will be more likely to share freely their thoughts, ideas, and emotions, knowing that their messages will be received and interpreted in a caring and supportive manner. Today, I'd like to tell you about our three-step process that begins with reaching out to students with an early term formative survey. It's short and it lets the students really hone in on and describe what's happening for them in the learning environment. When a student trusts that their teachers care and support them, they will be open to sharing their thoughts and ideas. In other words, provide them feedback. I volunteered for this initiative because I wanted my students to feel safe in giving their feedback early on in the term. And they won't always tell us what's going on face to face. So this simple student survey gives them the comfort of anonymity and it takes the guesswork out for me so that I know I'm on track with my teaching. Next, faculty together with the teaching and learning professional staff can reflect on that student feedback to figure out, finally, if they will refine, revise, or redesign their course. In our sessions, Tori and I are actually implementing changes that are research-based instructional strategies. I meet with her, and then I head to the class with some fresh strategies and materials. I took this opportunity as a chance for me to evaluate myself to see how effective I was being in, in the classroom. Learning, getting information of whether we're being effective is crucial to the learning experience. For example, my, my, the study that I was involved in was, uh, was for a five-hour class. Now, personally, I have never taught for five hours, and I didn't believe that the students who I was teaching ever learned for five hours. So this was crucial in, in my development as a teacher into maybe learning how to be more effective through a whole five hours worth of teaching. What's also nice about this survey is that it asks students what is going well in the class. Um, when coupled with constructive feedback, the results tell me what to keep doing with my teaching and pedagogy and what to modify. Rather than waiting until the very end of the semester when it's too late to improve my class, this process gives me useful information early on in the semester. This, I believe, is the spirit of gathering student input, an initiative which seeks to capture formative information to help students provide us with the information we need in order to make their learning experience a much richer one. At Mercy College, both students and faculty aspire to teaching and learning excellence. I'm confident that this process will help them get there. For more information, send us an email 